Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. The latest on Mudrik, the winger that we want from Shakhtar Donetsk. Are we going to get him? Are we going to change our minds and focus on a midfielder now that both Pat and El Nini are out? It's going to be very interesting to see what Ateta and Edu do. If there's only two days remaining, just over two days remaining on Thursday night, the transfer window will be over and from there on you cannot um, correct your mistakes or anything like that. If you pick up any injuries, you're going to have to use whatever you have already. So um, we will be talking about uh, Modric and um, let's get started. Uh, according to um, Rudy Galetti, ongoing talks between Arsenal and Shakhtar for Modric. The two clubs are working to reach an agreement for a figure of £20 million pounds plus bonuses. There is optimism for the positive closure of the deal involving situation. So the talks are ongoing. The deal could... Um, am I, get closer very soon. I mean, a couple of journalists are reporting different um, events, but everyone is reporting that Arsenal definitely want um, Modric and the talks are ongoing, but some are saying they're getting closer. Some are saying it's not yet close, uh, but according to Rudy Goletti, the deal is getting closer and it's looking like we are going to be paying something like around 20 million plus a couple of bonuses. So maybe 25 million in total. He is a very promising 21 uh, year old. Um, it still feels like a lot of money. Um, Obviously, we might still change our mind right now if we decide, you know what, now that we have injuries, let's start spend that money in midfield. Personally, that's what I would do. But I guess it's... um. I guess the cheaper option is still a cheaper option than Pedro Neto because if you go for Pedro Neto, you're going to have to pay 50 million. And according to other reports, we might not have money to get uh, a midfielder. So that's uh, that is according to Rudy Galetti. According to um, David Onstein, Arsenal had previously been focused on signing a wide forward with Pedro Neto, the top target. Modric is also among um, their ca candidates. It is thought financial consideration would make it difficult to buy both a winger and a midfielder in the coming days so david is saying it might uh, it might be trouble it might be difficult to get both a winger and a midfielder uh, that's what i've been saying i think we might get uh, one signing and then another loan deal so maybe we might end up signing a midfielder and then if we can convince Shakhtar donetsk and um, get this guy on loan from them modric i, I would definitely take that if, if they are willing to um, let him go out on loan and then we can see how he does for us for a season as we try to spend that money in midfield instead i'd actually be very very happy that um option but for now it's looking like we we are going to buy him for around 20 million pounds and then pay the rest later um so that is according to david onstein and rudy galetti what about according to ben jacobs so ben jacobs says mudrick is um of appeal um to us because they believe um he can operate comfortably off both flanks despite being a left winger by trade he's technically gifted and specializes in assists even from penalties and then he goes us he goes on to show us a clip of um mudrick actually score uh, assisting from a, a penalty kick so that's that very very clever he actually assisted from a penalty kick and um, the guy scored from it he also goes on to say although a deal is very possible Arsenal and Shakhtar started almost 10 million apart in valuation Shakhtar ideally want 25 million I'm hearing Arsenal want uh, or basically saying that Arsenal started with um, an offer of, of around um 15 million pounds but Shakhtar wants 25 million pounds so will we raise that offer are we are they going to accept a 20 million plus uh, bonuses for later are they going to accept a loan deal will Arsenal change their mind and decide to splash the cash for Neto or will we go for midfielders it's interesting because um Leicester are actually about to sign a midfielder uh, I think today or something uh, from Schalke does that mean that Tillemans is definitely going to live there that is another one to keep an eye out for so it's going to be a very busy um week um ahead remember uh we've talked about in the live stream Maitland Niles since now we have an injury a couple of injuries in midfield does that mean Maitland Niles will stay does that mean he will live we're still waiting to hear the uh, the latest on uh, Bellerin or uh, any other targets that we didn't um, know about. I'm very sure there's a player that uh, we've not been told about by Fabrizio Romano, David Onstein, that Edu and I start talking to right now during the negotiations with. We could end up getting a surprise um, signing. But remember, I said did confirm that they're definitely looking at a player. Even today, I think they did a conference and they said we're definitely looking at someone. It says it's clear that we are becoming a little bit short as we end the squad uh, because we have so many outs again. We need to get that balance right. So I, I will not um, entertain the um, the thought of us who will not sign anyone else. That would be crazy. We cannot go into the season without um, getting anyone else. Even that was even before um, Thomas Patinel and then he got injured. So 
let me see, let's see how many players we are going to get. Are we going to get one player in, two players in? Modric is one to keep an eye on. Uh, an eye on. Tillemans is another one to keep an eye on. Pedro Net is another one to keep an eye on. Will Maitland Niles leave or will he come? Uh, will he stay? What's the latest on Cody Gakpo as well? Will we get, uh, go back for him? PSV did not make the Champions League. We've actually been drawn in the same Europa League um, group with them. So that is pretty interesting as well. A lot of transfers um, will happen in the next few days. A lot of teams are splashing cash. Chelsea, Man United, all those guys. So hopefully Arsenal do the same. Catch up with you guys on the next one.